In this episode of 10 Best Ones, we are going to check out the top 5 best speakers for gaming in 2018. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. If you want to see the price and find out more information about these speakers for gaming, you can check out the links down in the description and the comment section below. Ok, so, let's get started with the video. At number 5, we have the Sound Blaster X Katana. The Sound Blaster X Katana is a multi-channel, surround gaming system, that is comprised of a dedicated subwoofer, and a soundbar, which are capable enough to enhance both your gaming ambient, and experience. From a design perspective, the Katana soundbar, has a black brushed aluminum construction, that packs two small feet, four drivers that are positioned at the inside, and control buttons on the top, so you can easily reach them and make various adjustments. We will go step by step now, so, the four integrated drivers, consist of two up-firing mid-bass drivers and two high excursion tweeters, for which we will talk more in the following section. The controls include a volume up and down button, source button, an audio, and lighting button, as well as a power, Bluetooth and indicator button. The connectivities are set on the back, so you can find an optical jack, USB flash drive port, headset jack, power port, subwoofer out jack, mic in jack, and a USB port for connecting to PC for a 24-bit, 96kHz digital audio playback, which is great. On the other side, the subwoofer, has a single integrated long throw driver at the inside, while the exterior, is black, with a Blasterx logo at the bottom part. Now, let's talk about the features. The Katana uses the Aurora Reactive Lighting System, which means that there are 49 programmable LED lights, that stretch from edge to edge, so with the dedicated Sound Blaster Connect software, you can adjust the visuals, and create your own profiles, which will significantly improve your gaming experience. The audio quality, is really good, due to the fact that the subwoofer has 30 watts of RMS, while main unit, has 45 watts of RMS, so if we combine these specs, the total 75 watts of RMS, and the peak of 150 watts, is absolutely cool. The mids, highs and the lows, are balanced, so you can feel each of them without any problem, and if you seek an even more enhanced audio, then all you have to do is just take an advantage of the software, and adjust it exactly as you'd like. Overall, the Sound Blasterx Katana is a steal for its cost, and if you ever decide to purchase it, you would never regret that decision. Moving on, at number 4, we have the Razer Leviathan. The Razer Leviathan is everything that a typical gamer would love to have, such as a Dolby surround sound and a subwoofer, that will significantly enrich your intense gaming moments with some bass. From a design perspective, the Leviathan is an all-black compact soundbar, that features a perforated grille on the front that is accompanied by the well-known Razer logo, and backlit controls placed slightly above the logo, so you can effortlessly adjust the sound whenever you want. The controls also include dedicated buttons for turning the Dolby Virtual Surround on or off, and controls for switching between the movie, game and music equalizer presets as well. The connectivities are composed of a sub-out port, DC in, optical in, aux in, while on the other side, Leviathan is Bluetooth and NFC enabled, so you will be well equipped in terms of connectivities. But now, let's talk about the performance. This soundbar itself produces a crisp and hum-free sound, thanks to its two full-range drivers and tweeters, but if you want to have an even better listening experience, then I want to inform you that when you pair it with its 30-watt woofer, that houses a 5.25-inch downward-firing driver, the sound produced will easily fill a whole room. During your gameplay, the added bass that is caused by the explosions, and the fires, will dramatically improve your overall gaming experience, so you will love every minute spent on gaming. I also want to mention that if you choose the game mode, the soundbar will simulate a 5.1 channel surround sound so your gameplay will have a whole new dimension. However, the Leviathan is focused more on the bass rather than the treble, but not significantly. Or better said, if you're listening to your favorite tracks and if they don't have a heavy bass you can still hear them clearly, but the soundbar is better when it comes to those tracks that are bass heavy. To conclude, if you want to upgrade your gaming setup with a bass-heavy and distortion-free soundbar that will definitely increase your gaming and listening experience, then the Razer Leviathan is the one you're looking for. 
Next stop, at number 3, we have the Logitech Z906. The Logitech Z906 is a 5.1 channel PC speaker system that would be a great choice for you if you want to get the most of every game, movie, and track for your ultimate user experience. From a design perspective, the Z906 comes with a subwoofer and six satellite speakers that share the same dark gray finish and a meshed grille on the front, so without a doubt, I can say that they have an excellent build quality. When you open the box, except the system, you will also find a remote control and a Bluetooth audio adapter that will let you stream music from your smartphones and tablets directly to the speakers. But, take in mind that the adapter comes only with this particular model, since there is a package without an adapter. Moreover, at the back of the subwoofer, you can find two optical and one coaxial input, a 3.5mm input for MP3 players, a six-channel direct input for connecting to PCs, as well as a panel of terminals for the included speaker wire, and except here, you can find them also at each speaker. Unfortunately, there aren't HDMI inputs, but for the price, this doesn't bug me. Now, let's talk about the features. Let's first start with the subwoofer. This unit packs a 165-watt amplifier, an 8-inch side-firing driver, and it is armed with audio decoders, so in terms of audio quality, it does a perfect job. On the other side, the speakers have a 3-inch polished aluminum phase plug driver, and they are capable enough to output a frequency range that varies between 35Hz and 20kHz, which is really good, if you ask me. According to those who've previously purchased this system, the bass quality is absolutely gorgeous, due to the fact that, you can feel that the bass is accurate, and punchy, so as you know, this is great for gaming. Before we end, I'd like to mention that when you combine the whole set, the total RMS is 500 watts, with Dolby Digital 5.1, and DTS encoding, which is awesome. Overall, the Logitech Z906 is worthy of considering, because it gives a great value for its actual cost. Moving on, at number 2, we have the Razer Nomo Chroma. The Razer Nomo Chrome would be a top choice for every gamer who would like to enrich its gaming setup, with powerful speakers that combine an aggressive look with a quality audio. From a design perspective, the Nomo Chrome have a plastic cylindrical construction that is finished in matte black and supported by circular rubber feet that can glow during the night in order to enhance your room ambient. At the inside, both of the units pack a 3-inch full-range driver, while strictly on the right speaker's base, you can confine two dials, of which, the first is for making bass adjustments, while the second is a volume dial, which also acts as a power button. At the back, behind the speaker bodies, there are rear-facing bass ports, which can produce a quality bass, so both, your gaming and movie sessions, will be highly enriched. All of the connectivities are set on the right speaker, so you can find a quarter-inch headphone jack, a 3.5mm aux input and the connection for the power adapter, which comes with the package. Before we move to the next section, I'd like to inform you that this model is USB is wired, since it comes with a USB cable, so all you have to do is just, plug it to your PC and then you can enjoy your time. Now, let's talk about the performance. You can customize the lighting, through the Razer Synapse 3 software, which has dozens of preset settings, and color animations of which you can definitely take an advantage, in order to elevate your user experience to a whole new level. But what's interesting, is that you can create even your own custom lighting profiles, so, thanks to the integrated 24 light zones on every speaker's ring, I think that you will love the lighting sensation. The audio quality, according to the users, is well defined, and you can immediately notice this with the punchy bass, and with the crip mids and highs, which can easily fill your room. Overall, I highly recommend you consider these speakers as your next purchase, because, the moment you position them on each side, and set them to face you directly, you will assure yourself, that your decision was correct. And finally, at number 1, we have the Logitech G560. The G560 is Logitech's latest sensation, which was immediately accepted by the gaming community, due to its impressive audio quality, that will surely completely immerse yourself, in every game you would like to play. From a design perspective, the Logitech G560 comes with two speakers and a subwoofer, as you can see in the picture, and all three of them, have a plastic construction, that is covered in black. 
In addition, you can notice that the speaker's 2.5-inch drivers are wrapped with a fabric mesh grills, but this is not the case with the subwoofer, which is nothing to be surprised off though. Moving on, the subwoofer serves as the core point, in which both of the speakers are connected to the PC, via USB connection. However, you won't find anything on the left speaker, so it serves just as a speaker, and everything is embedded to the right one. So you can find buttons for shutting the speaker off, for pairing it with a Bluetooth device, as well as a button for changing the RGB lighting, and a 3.5mm headphone output jack. But now, let's talk about the performance. The G560 supports surround sound, which I particularly like, so you won't be restricted on positioning the speakers, according to your preferences, since they will produce a quality sound to you and around you. I would also want to note that, all of the three units, have 240 watts peak output, and 120 watt RMS output, which is awesome, due to the fact, that your entire room can be filled without any problem. Moreover, I'd recommend you take an advantage of the Logitech gaming software, which has an intuitive interface, so you can adjust the lighting as you'd like. When you're done with the adjustments, then you won't stop admiring the glowing output that comes both from the front and the back of the units, for your ultimate user experience. To conclude, the Logitech GS560 is a must-have for every gamer who would like to invest in PC speakers that are capable enough to elevate its gaming experience to a whole new level. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. If this video was helpful to you, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future, and if you have any questions related to these speakers for gaming, you can leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can.